Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dark Flight Gamer UK and we are back in Valheim. I can hear a little grayling running around out there, yeah, I knew I could. Not anymore. Alright, let me just go repair everything. So I don't need all that wood with me. I could do some more. I don't need that charcoal either. The charcoal could go into there. Yeah, that's okay. Let's select them now. Just make sure we've got them. Yeah, I think that's about as good as we can get. Um, oh, there's more honey. So, you and get you. So, actually give us a bit more honey. Give us eight honey, which is good. So, I'll take some of you. Stamina 12 and health. Alright, and then we will be heading this way up the coast. So if we look at the map, we are here. Stone circles there. Um, the Aichthyr is there. And I believe I've got to put two deer trophies on there. So let's go, let's head up the coast. Oh, it does slow you down, doesn't it? And that's a stamina regenerate. Yeah, trade off between stamina and health when eating foods. Obviously when you're going after a boss you want enough health to survive any attacks, but at the same time you need to have enough stamina to be able to attack him back. How are we doing on all these foods? Yeah, okay. Oh, there's a hut there. I don't think I've visited that one before. Let's have a look. Let's see if there's any goodies we can get. Ooh, beehive. Oh, been stung. Shouldn't have been too eager. Another bee. Queen bee, I think. Yeah, and more honey. That was okay. My oh, health will recover quick enough. Get out of the way, just so I can travel a little bit faster. And head this way. I need to be heading up the coast. Trying to avoid too many necks and things. There's plenty of deer about anyway. Right, we're getting close. Hello. You're lucky. So, oh, this is going to be challenging because there's water there. I normally use the trees and run around, and then, um, hmm, this could be difficult. Hugging, what are you got to say? Calling forth the beast, you have found the summoning place of one of the forsaken. Make the correct offering at the altar, and they will come. Be wary though, the forsaken are not easy prey, so craft a wicked weapon, don your finest armour and eat a hearty meal before engaging them in combat. Yes, thank you. I am aware. You can find a nice open spot which isn't this. Rats. 
Okay, it is what it is. We're just gonna have to go for it. And now I'm gonna run away. Where is it? Where is it coming? There it is, and it was gonna come somewhere. Wow, can't see a thing while that's going on. This is why we use flame arrows. Damage over time. I'm just trying to uh, not tank your stamina. Run away, run away! Oh dear. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot he brings them in as well, didn't he? Down slowly. Try to get the stone between me and him best I can. So, I mean, stunless tank. Who's he calling in? Three shots and all missed. Headshots do more damage, I believe, as well. It's easy getting them. This is why I need the fire arrow damage over time to slowly wear them down. Whoa, that hurt. Food's all good, I should be okay food wise. I've got them halfway. Come on, stick your head out. Oh. You want to get hit then, but never mind. See, I think I got him on the head there, got a good uh, remote myself down. Ooh, 
ist doch blöd. Come on, keep coming. Yeah, you better try and keep the stones between you because the uh, trees you can actually pull down. Nearly gone. Don't get complacent at this point. Too easy to die. It's nearly. Come on. Die. Die! Die! There he goes, he's gone. Now he'll go boom. There we go. And I've got his trophy. Now where's Fluffy's thing? There he is. Hug Hugger? Tiger? Hugging. That's him. Congratulations, warrior. Return to the sacrificial stones with your forsaken trophy and offer it as a sacrifice to make the gods smile upon you. I will. Um. Mystical Altar 1-8 Offer item. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if I can actually offer more then. So the stones are... due south. The stone ring. Let's put you away. You don't feel arrested anymore. I'm not surprised it's been zapped several times. So that wasn't too bad that battle. I'll find the next one with like the big um, tree guy, I can't remember what his name either. Tends to be harder, much harder battle. Mainly because he has like whip things that he fires out at you and what have you. But to find him I think I've got to go into the cabins. Oh come on. You wanna go? Not a friend of you. Yeah, you've got to go into the the catacombs. The catacombs, it's not catacombs, it's dungeons, should we say. With the skeletons. And you find the location in there on there. In there. And here we go. Every opportunity you get. So here is our first one. Yeah, him. He's the one I thought to do. Well, at all hard to do, to be fair. But he, he, he's particularly... I don't like him. There we go. Your ability to run and jump is improved. Run stamina usage minus 60%. Jump stamina usage minus 60%. E to activate. The sake and sacrifice. You have been granted the power of a clear. Use it in times of need. 
Your next target dwells in the Black Forest. Go there, explore the land and uncover their lost treasures and resources. And uncover their lost treasures and resources. The Eldar awaits. The Eldar awaits. Okay, goodbye you. Yeah, there's a scene. Next one's in the Black Forest. But now I have um, these antlers. I can make a pickaxe. Oh. Oh, that's about to expire, so we knew it. And with the pickaxe, I can dig up some bones. Once I've dug up some bones, I can get some um, upgrades. I've just seen some stones while I'm here, I might have to grab them. Yeah, my base is a bit more in the open now. I've opened it out a bit. Oh, and there's still a lot more to do. This is just a baby base. So, first things first, repair everything. As always, always repair everything. Now, antler pickaxe. Craft that. And then, they're all full. You can go in there, where it's safe. Oh yeah, Comfort 5 because I put that um, rug down. You have crafted a pickaxe. The Black Forest is rich in minerals. It, there you can find copper in the ground and tin lining the ocean shores. Now go forth and strike the earth. So this was worried about. So, um, Black Forest here. No water. So I might just try and skirt around it to see if I can find where it's against water. So I can find tin. But for now, I'm going to do a bit of digging. Let's dig this mound. See if we can find some treasure. And bones. Sometimes it takes a while. Oh, there we go. There's some bones, bone fragments, bone stack, deer hide cape. Again, that's additional armour. There's normally a chest or something in amongst these as well. That's just digging through. There, you can dig stone, break stone stone as well. more than bones, I must admit. I wish the weather could pick up as well. It's really dark and dingy. You know, it might be out of luck, there might not be a chest. It'd be unusual. Normally come across it by now. Try going from the side. <coughs> Go away. Don't need your annoyance. Oh, see this. 
pickaxe isn't the best because it's only a handler. You can go away as well, you're annoying. Let's just keep looking for a little bit, see if we can find anything. You can use dandelions, uh, I think, and bruise like, for dying things. I think, I think you can die things, will Or may get it mixed up with another game. <laughs> God, who knows? Cold, that's because it's dark. No, I think it's good time to go back to our base for the night and let's pick this up in the morning. You're wet. Stand by the fire and I'll dry really quickly. Um, how many bones did I get? Two. I need a lot more than that. Um, when I'm here, I'm, oh, I'm I know the base is a bit open. I need some more wood. I'll take from you. So I want to build. some more chests. You never seem to have enough chests. Actually, I want that up there, not the bottom. It up too much. Now oh, just a little pillar in the middle. Can I do that? Yeah. There we go. It's better stuff to open now. Right, the sun's up, so let's have another quick look. Let's have another quick look at um, this barrow, see if we can find any treasure. Literally five minutes, if that. If I can't, I'm going to go across the other one. Is it? You know me find it by now. I'm going to assume not. So there is another one over here.
just on the other side of it. And it's wood. They never learn these graylings. Here we go. Let's see if we can find anything in this one. Bones. I'm not taking treasure out of all these burrows. I know. I'm a pearl. Is that all there is? An amber pearl. But not a chest. Doesn't look like it. Oh, more bones, more bones, take those. No, it's the first time I've actually seen more than one lot of bones in the burrow, to be fair. There we go, look, see? Totally a treasure, but I can't carry it. Get rid of you. What to get rid of? I'd have to do wood, won't it? Curious now. Are there any more bones? Maybe I just didn't dig down deep enough on the other one. Plenty of stone, but I don't want the stone. What's up there? I think that's just a stone. That's not him. There's a mark on the ground. I thought maybe something's sticking out. Ah, oh, my axe is broken. Pickaxe is broken. <laughs> Two for the price of one. a little trip. Let's just head back. Close to my fire, so I'm getting a little bonus. Oh, you've been looking around my base, have you? I say you could. No.
not max out, so... Trigger... You can go in there... You can go in there... Hold on to you... You can go in there... Every sentinel on there doesn't matter. It's on there. It's the main thing. No, no bone stack. A log stack. I need 50, and I've got 50 on me. Ah! I can now build a raft. Woohoo! I've got everything I need to build a raft. requirement work uh, workbench um, uh, that wasn't very good Now we can travel places. Right, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, let's go a bit... What way is the wind blowing? The wind blowing that way. Let's... Now I've got to try and remember how to put sail down. Oh, it's left and right. That's forward, right, okay, I remember. Let's go for a little sail this way. Let's see if we can't explore some things. So the raft's a bit slow. <laughs> it's a bit slow than I remember it being. So you can take more of a straight line to places with a rock across open water. Coming back might be a challenge because the wind's right up our tail here. We'll have to tack back. Bigger boats go quick under some fish up. I bet you can get fish in the water now as well. How about that? We can have salmon for tea. Nope, steer the boat. That helps.
And obviously every time you hit the ground or hit the rock, it damage your boat slightly. This is a little bit of a cove here. And then the land goes around that way, so... What that tells me is that the um, black forest over here isn't against the coast on this side. Oh, sailing into an island. Let's just turn round and head back for now. That's answer what I wanted to answer. Alright, let's see if we can tuck a bit. Once that little wind symbol on the right hand side there goes to the black section, I can't move forward anymore. It means I've lost the wind and I've got to go to sort of level one portion which is waggling that there. Uh, rudder. I just want to get past this island here. Uh, still got a bit of wind there, I guess. No, it's just there. Uh, better waggle me, rudder. See if I can tuck a bit now. You do get better boats, like I say, and you do travel quicker. This is just a big wooden raft at the moment. Oh, some uh, rocks there. Can try and avoid them. My base is over here somewhere. So I'm going to do is I'm going to turn hard. Straight into the wind for now, but I'm using my rudder to head towards shore. And as I get close, I'll head right again. See the winds coming round to the right now anyway. And there's my face dead ahead. As I said, the boat's a bit slow, the raft's a bit slow, other boats are quicker. But it's the only way you can get round some places, so yeah, we might be stuck with the raft for a little while. Let's just go to the other side of that rock, back to where we launched from. Missing the logs that are dumped in the sea as well. If you go too far, you get big waves, and uh, the rafts aren't very good in those. So it's really just a close shore vehicle. 
let's fill the sail a bit and turn in. And there we go. That's our first little sea voyage. Just as the sun is going down. Right, I've still got old bones on me so I can do some upgrades. Um, what do I need to upgrade my leather tunic? Some leather, funny enough. Uh, that'll give me armor four. Put it back on. And what do I need to craft the cape? Gear high cape. Ah, uh, five bones. See, I need more bones. You can go in there, and now you can go in there. And there's the night, there's the sun sinks behind the horizon and makes the clouds glow. I think we'll call it a day. Thanks for watching guys. Please hit the like and subscribe. Please leave any comments below if you'd like to join my channel and become a member. There's a link at the bottom. If you'd like to see me super thanks, there's also a link at the bottom to sit to three right there. If you'd also like to leave me a super thanks, there is also a link at the bottom. Just hit the three dots. That's for now. Strike by Gamer wishing you good night.